Quinn Moore, singer-songwriter, producer, multi-instrumentalist. I was born and raised in Austin, Texas, the live uh, music capital of the world. Like most musicians, I got my start in the church, St. Stephen's uh, Missionary Baptist Church in Austin, Texas. The older brothers just took me in and just showed me the ropes as far as playing drums, singing, and playing piano. And uh, I just kind of just developed from there. I was on the drum line in middle school and high school, but um, when I got to high school, I put more of my focus into sports, uh, football, basketball, and I ran track. And uh, I kind of, that's what I pretty much thought I was going to do professionally until I got in college. I played a couple years of college football, uh, but then I decided to focus more on music. Uh, I started my first band, it's called Soul Bowl. Um, we, we performed all around the University of North Texas, uh, which is where I attended college. Uh, fraternity parties, um, local clubs, everywhere we could. And we, we, we developed a good following and became pretty popular over the years. I had decided to uh, embark upon a, a solo career. Uh, I just started taking music more seriously. Instead of doing covers, I wanted to write more originals and I got more excited about doing so and I just started writing more songs and, and, and eventually started performing them live. Um, and it just went on from there. I just knew probably, I'd say a little bit before I got my degree, that I wanted to pursue music professionally. While a lot of people may classify my music as neo-soul, I touch on a lot of different styles, especially on my newer record, You Forgot Your Heart. Um, I take I touch on jazz, R&B, rock, blues, but rest assured my, my music is, is, the core of my music is gonna be soul music. I, I would definitely say Curtis Mayfield is, is probably one of my top influences. Um, he really grew on me uh, over the years. A lot of people sampled his music and I didn't know it was his music, but I kind of did the research and found out, you know, through hearing other people's music, like rappers and other singers, that this guy was the mastermind behind their music. Uh, other artists that, that influenced me, D'Angelo, Prince, Marvin Gaye, uh, I like Jamie Foxx. I, like, I love Raphael Sadiq, uh, very old school, very talented. Um, R. Kelly, a genius to me. Stevie Wonder, uh, as far as my old school sound, my parents played a lot of records and uh, the old school soul sound is just what I responded to the most and I, it just it just made me feel different from the other music that was played. I mean they played all types of music from gospel to blues to zydeco, reggae, I've heard it all but it's just something about old school soul and, and just the way they sing and uh, I just responded differently and it just made me feel great inside and I just felt like that's what my heart was as far as me as a, a singer, songwriter and a performer. I wrote my first song I believe freshman year in college um, it was called Tell Me What You Want. It's actually on my mixtape. It's called Tell Me. Um, and I just, I, I just kept writing. I just wrote from whatever, whatever came to my mind. I would, I would produce and just come up with the different instruments and different, different things like that. And I just, I don't know, I just, after I wrote my first song, I just got a knack for just wanting to write and just tell my side of the story when it comes to uh, relationships or uh, politics or uh, whatever that may be, what was on my mind, any type of concept. Um, one thing that I definitely feed off of is, is positive vibes from the crowd. I mean, it definitely does enhance the performance. I enjoy uh, seeing how people respond to the music that I've written, and um, it, it just overjoys me to see them respond positively and singing the lyrics and to these songs that I've written. It's, it's, just, it's just a great feeling. It's overwhelming. I play keyboards, bass, guitar and guitar and I play drums as well and I also play a little bit of percussion I play some flute as well um, I use all these instruments while I produce and I just try to use them to the best of my abilities I'm primarily self-taught on most of my instruments I did sit down with people uh, early on when, when I first started playing whatever instrument that, uh, that I learned I did have to sit down and kind of learn the basics of how to hold it or how to you know the, the form and stuff, but for the most part, 
the melodic part of it, I was pretty much self-taught. Uh, my latest single, Natural Sister, uh, was released in February of this year, 2013. Um, I wrote it after I heard about a situation um, with a meteorologist in Louisiana about she was being discriminated against with her hair. And um, I was just pushed to write the song and turned out to be a success, turned out to be number one on the uh, UK breaking artist charts over there in, in the United Kingdom, over in Great Britain. Got a lot of airplay on the UK soul charts. It reached as high as number three. And um, I was really excited, got a lot of airplay there. It's a really popular tune over here in the States as well. The name of my new album is, is uh, going to be You Forgot Your Heart. And it's just a passion driven message, just encouraging folks to pursue their heart's aspirations um, in love, relationships, politics, um, career, any type of goals, you know, just to stick with your heart and just go for any type of goal that you have and follow your heart's aspirations with that. I feel like the album is going to um, create a push as far as people following their hearts and, and, and going after their heart's desires and uh, just taking risks and taking um, what making any means doing anything necessary that they have to do to reach their goals and that's 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 my hopes with the album uh, with the lyrical content and, and um, everything with the project I wrote and produced all the songs on um, you forgot your heart um, from pretty much from scratch it's a pretty organic album I played pretty much most of the instruments uh, arranged anything else that I didn't play I'm, I'm very excited about it I put a lot of me into this I guess what they'll say um, in the countries that I put my foot in it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I, I really gave you a lot of me in the lyrics and the music, uh, the arrangements, the recordings, everything. Just I, I really put my heart, put everything into it.